One of the fun things about covering a Hideo Kojima game, Death Stranding especially, is digging for hints and clues to uncover the many mysteries that it's hiding. Even with my hour and 20 minutes long Death Stranding trailer analysis that I released at the beginning of the year, I felt as though I had only scratched the surface. So I'm always on the lookout for little things that I may have missed, and for this video, there is one discovery in particular that I'd like to share with you guys. The following information comes from the Death Stranding subreddit, in which user Scrumpus made a rather interesting observation. They noticed that the dotted texture of the baby incubator is very similar to the PlayStation 4 controller's touchpad. If you put them side by side, you'll see that the similarities are undeniable. This begs the question, will the DualShock 4's touchpad somehow be integrated into the game in such a way that it affects how you interact with the baby incubator? Will sliding your finger around on the touchpad activate certain functionalities of the mysterious contraption? If you ask me, it's entirely possible. We already know that Kojima will always jump to an opportunity to break the fourth wall in clever ways. He often does so through in-game dialogue, visuals, and scenarios, but he also likes to take advantage of a video game console's hardware. The best examples can be found in the seminal Metal Gear Solid for PlayStation 1. In that game, Kojima took advantage of the original DualShock's rumble functionality to allow Psycho Mantis to show off his psychic abilities in the real world, or to give you a massage during the torture sequences, and he also took advantage of the console's memory card to allow Psycho Mantis to read your mind. I get the sense that Kojima will attempt similar fourth wall breaking shenanigans with Death Stranding, especially since the game is exclusive to PS4, allowing Kojima to take full advantage of the hardware without having to think about compatibility issues for other hardware. We might have spotted something to that effect in the VGA 2017 trailer, where we see the two Bridges crew members wearing the handcuffs seen in past trailers, except this time they emit different colored lights that seem to act as health indicators, which will likely be represented in the DualShock 4's LEDs. Consequently, perhaps the similarities in texture between the incubator and the DualShock 4 touchpad indicates a similar connection. As for how exactly the touchpad will interact with the incubator, your guess is as good as mine, but here's my theory. We know from watching the VGA 2017 trailer that ultimately it's the baby residing within the incubator who controls the mechanical shoulder-mounted arm, which acts like an indicator of sorts for the game's otherworldly creatures. In other words, the arm is merely an interface that the baby uses to convey information in a way that the user can understand. That's the theory, at least. Now, throughout the trailer, it's apparent that the mechanical arm is fully automatic and controls itself, or perhaps it's more accurate to say that the baby autonomously controls it. But what if there is also a way for the player to manually override the baby's autonomous control and take over? What if the mechanical arm will manually move towards whatever direction you drag your fingers around on the DualShock 4's touchpad? Maybe there is some kind of mechanic in the game that allows players to manually scan or tag certain things in the environment, and perhaps that's where the touchpad's manual override to gain direct control over the mechanical arm comes into play. I don't know, this is just wild speculation on my part. It could end up being as simple as the touchpad just acting as a button to bring up some kind of menu to adjust certain settings for the incubator, or the visual resemblance might not necessarily mean that the incubator and the DualShock 4 touchpad are connected. But for my part, I believe that there's too much of a visual resemblance to not mean anything. These are just one man's thoughts though, I'd love to hear what you think about all this in the comments below. With that, I would like to end this news update and discussion video, thank you for tuning in. I hope you found this video insightful, and if you enjoy my content, consider supporting me on Patreon. It is completely optional, but it would certainly go a long way in helping this channel remain stable and to help it grow and evolve over time. And to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out!